Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and all your favor and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time uh, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm about to do right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, seeing the truth of ultimate revelations to focus as distractions become a non-factor. It's true. Because a lot of times we don't realize our growth can, you know, growth is not going to always be positive. Growth is not going to always be seen as good times in our life. Got, growth is not going to always, you know, reflect strength in happy moments. You know, it, you have to be able to work to get there. You know, there, this life is full of ups and downs, highs and lows, darks and, you know, darkness and light. All those different things. This is creating that for you. But when, you know, and it's just like... uh you know, like I've said before, a devil and God go hand in hand. You know, they got two different intentions for the reason why things are placed on your path like that. God will use your distractions to see what are you going to stay focused on. You're going to be focused on the enemy of what they claim they can do or what, they, what you know, what kind of, you know, situations they're trying to get you in to keep you all, you know, fo more focused on what they're doing. You know, or are you going to allow yourself to keep focused on what God promised you? Allowing yourself to keep moving forward even when the... When, even when the the days are bad, you're still still showing get gratitude to the universe. You're still showing gratitude and admiration towards God. You know, just being able to do that. And then when you can start allowing yourself to see, it's all about perspective. How you choose to look at everything that you're facing at that time. Everything that you're going through. I used to get mad at every time something went, you know, bad towards my way. And I used to always get upset about, you know, I'm pushing out so much positivity. Why is this negative ish just keeps coming at me all the time? And it's like, this is challenging you. You know, it, it, if it's like God is really wanting you to see your potential, you're going to have to go through some rocky moments. You know, you go towards troubled waters. You know, this is where he's taking you towards. Like, Why are you taking me towards troubled waters? Your enemies can't swim there. You know, there's a lot of times when blessings... Uh, he's blessing you with blessings. He will start revealing everything in your life that is not needed. What people you need to let go of. Certain things that you need to change within your ways. You know, and those are not easy. You know, but then when there's different things where you start seeing the perspective and transitioning towards your truth, towards your higher self, because you're, you know, you've been and um, what it, what it, what they say, uh, a work in progress for a good minute. Now this is that season where you're you're constructing your masterpiece. You've been a work in progress for a long time. You know, you've been like that for a while. You out of that camp. You know, you out of that vibration. You out of that label. You know, you know, because we don't like labels. But if you was to see it how it is, how it is, I said what I said. You know, you're in that work of you know, you're working on your masterpiece. You know, a lot of times we stand in the way of our process of progress. You know, we understand we, a lot of times we don't like that truth of challenge. We like staying comfortable and, you know, in a comfort zone. Even a lot of times I'm like, what the hell? There ain't nothing about this daggone comfort zone I'm comforted by. And it's like the way they want you to see that is because the fact is you're allowing certain things that is really, you know, you know, detrimental to your soul, to your vibrations, to your essence, the question of you in your own existence. You're allowing things to, you know, keep festering. You're manifesting issues. You're manifesting problems. You're manifesting more drama into your life. Instead of you allowing that, say, you know what, this is detrimental to my soul. This, These certain issues, these certain vibrations, these certain people, these certain situations is keeping me up at night. You know, and these are the things that's showing you that is not a factor, but you can use that as fuel. You know, because if you know you're tired of being treated a certain type of way, you ain't going to be entertaining certain things that is just like, you ought to see where it's coming from. It's not coming from a place of peace. You know, we are, in a lot of times with us as uh, empaths, we will neglect the caution signs. We will neglect the, the, the red flags. So many different things that be projecting towards us. And we'll come up with every excuse. And a lot of times you have to understand. 
you know, if it's done with anybody, those red flags come up at the beginning. You know, they're like, if you really want to see the true intent to somebody, just allow yourself to look. You know, see how you carry a conversation. You know, different things like that. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I heard, kept on hearing something in my door. I guess it was one of those cats outside. But anyways, you, you go through so many different challenges into your life where they show you, you know, where your revelations are. You know, because a lot of times it, it's just like it's all smoke and mirrors. You know, what, what you feel like, oh, this is going to conquer me. This is going to overtower me. This is going to destroy me. You're creating that as your reality, and that's really not what it is. That's what the devil wants you to think. But these are the different things that God will place into your life to see the hidden revelations within the sequences you're in. See what is the subliminal to every person you're interacting with. What is the lesson? What is the things that need to be taught to you? If there are certain things that's placing resistance in that manifestation, what is it that you need to do on those next steps to create better for you? You know, you go through that, you know, because it's like we can self-sabotage all the time. When we know something good is happening, a lot of times we'll say we deserve, we deserve this and this and this and that. But then you will carry that vibration of fear that will tilt everything that was coming towards you because you feel like, what if I mess it up? What is this? You know, you, you're, you're already creating fear if I don't like this. What if this, you know, this situation is not meant for me? Or what if I foobar it all up? You know, then you're allowing yourself to say you're not worthy of what God has for you. You know, and they're like, what do you mean you're creating fear? That's what it is. Because a lot of times you'll know what you deserve. But then it was just like when, you, when we're so used to bad things happening in our lives, we, we don't realize we're placing our reality that we are not worthy of that. And that's where a lot of times fear step place. Because there's a lot of times universe will bring up these creative vibes for you to be able to do. And it's something you have not been used to. You're not used to this certain situation. And it'll be like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't do this. I don't do that. And it's just like we have to understand. Sometimes we have a place of fear of failure. And not realize we're doing it. I'm like, why, why am I feeling a failure? You know, and we don't even realize we hold that vibration. You know, but we don't realize failure shows you where your integrity is. Failure shows you where your strength and your power is. Failure leads you eventually to success. When you allow yourself to fail, but you get back up. Okay, I tried it this way. Okay, let me go ahead and, and you know... Scratch the you know, drawing board and put up something else and go that way. Then if that part doesn't work, you're going this way because you know if you're determined. Because it's just like, if universe just puts a thought in your head like, man, I would do anything to bring that in my life. And you know, God be over here following his nails. Anything? Okay. Anything. Okay. You know. And matter of fact, he, I mean, he already got something in store for you. Because he sees the different things that he placed you in. He's seen how your life has been. He's seen how you have been constantly going to struggle, 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 struggle. He sees how the love you placed in where all you got is hate, 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 hate. You know, different things that, you know, uh, people have just kind of tried to do anything and everything that wipe out your whole existence or have you do it within yourself. You know, he knows that because he got something very unexpected, you know, behind a door that you never, you know, you never went to, you never did this, but he wants to see how many strategies of struggle can I put in this person's life, you know, for them to be so determined, I'm going to make this happen. I don't care how many times I fall, I'm going to get up. Bump, scrape, broke, fractures, whatever. You don't going to be having a toenail hanging off and it's flapping at you. And be, I mean, even if you got a wobble to get over that finish line, are you willing to do that? And that's what God wants to be able to see in you. That's what universe wants you to see in you. When warriors come up, you know, shoot, you be having one of them. You, you can have a hand that's hanging off, you know, and it's just nerves just taking to it. You wrap that mess and keep it close to your chest and be just, you know, you go on. Even though you deflected in all kind of ways. It's showing, it's like, dang, you know, that person is all just messed up, broke up, this and this and that. But they still hobbled themselves over that finish line. Even if they were the third person through that finish line, they still did it. That takes persistence. That takes courage. That means dedication, heavy dedication, persistence, and consistency. They didn't get complacent when certain things wasn't going their way. You know, you wipe it. Oh, I ain't got it. I, I can't. I can't do this. You gave up so soon. The water wasn't even lukewarm for you. And just because it went against you, you obviously thought that you weren't going to be able to conquer that. And they always tell you, just, you know, because I've been saying this in different videos and universe, you know, Holy Spirit be telling me, just put this as an example. There are certain things that you have really, you, you really were, 
you like determined to bring into your life. It could be a, a, a man that you wanted. It could have been a female that you wanted. And when you finally got that, that mess was like a Monet. He said, what do you mean a Monet? Oh, it's so pretty. And, you know, far away, when you got up on that mess, it was a whole hot mess. Like, damn. Is this the same thing I was seeing way far away back there? Yes, it was. And you see how that effort you put into something that was just a mirage to you. Just was a whole hot mess of confusion to do. You know, looking all like a booger bell or whatever. You know, it, it, it was just like all that. Just think of how much you can put an effort in something that is going to take you places. That is going to hit you in different ways if you ain't never been hit before. You're going to be able to appreciate the, the bad times as well as the good times. The highs and the lows. The different things that disturb your peace. The different things that help you sleep at night. All these different things. And they're trying to show you the revelations of that. When you can sit up here and put your effort in something that don't even need effort to be put in. To get your attention or get close to you. Just think about how much you can put an effort in on something that's going to take you to the next level. They're going to show you that. Where they're going to show you no matter what people say. It's how the heck you are determined to do what you can do. This ain't to prove to them. It's going to prove to you. You know. You ain't got to sit up here and talk about other people. You know about what they're doing. About what, how they did certain things. How they try to block you. How they try to sabotage you. The best thing you can do for an enemy to keep moving. Be happy. That disturbs the hell out of anybody that's going against you. Because they feel like all the stuff that they're putting on you is not working. It's working. But it's just not working in that favor. It's working in your favor. Because it's showing you no matter what the enemy has placed in your life. You still you still determined to overcome that. You know, if you got to pause and reset and do, do what you need to do. Take some self-care. It's okay. You know, let folks assume that you done gave up. Let folks assume that you done quit. There'll be days you'll be crying, upset, saying this and this and that. I can't take it. This is too much. You know, allow them to mock you. Allow them to laugh at you. Okay? Because God knows, you know, you ain't going to give up. I don't care how much you get mad at me. I don't care how much you feel like you can't get over this. I already got, I already got you in store for that. I already know what moves you're going to make before you even made it. Just like I already knew the moves that your enemy was going to make before they even made it. That's going to be a part of the master plan anyway. It's from those. Those enemies. From those struggles, those heartaches, that pain. This is going to make you. It's going to break you all away from different things that is not even a factor to you. It's going to break away all the illusions when it's building you up on truth. You know, it's showing you where you can, where your dreams begin and the worries end. You know, all those different things. It's going to show you who is in your corner. That's why a lot of times they tell you dark times will show you the truth in every intention there is. That's either set for you or is going against you. That's why a lot of times we got to go through that. Because you know if God is wanting greater into your life. God is wanting more into your life. They will start showing you different people you need to exile out of your life. Different people you really need to stop funking with. And I didn't say the other word. I said funking with. Okay. You, there's different people that you really shouldn't be messing with. Things that you need to keep quiet on. You know, you can have your little private, you know, congratulations. You know, be shaking a shimmy. You know, shake what your mama gave you, do whatever. But you keep that behind closed doors in private. Because God said there's a little bit more. But you got to be quiet. You know, allow yourself to be looking like sometimes you got to play the fool to fool. They think they fooling you. You know, and these are the different things. It's like this is all a part of your growth. Your enemies, your defeats, your wins, your failures, your setbacks, your success. All these things are part of you where you're showing what is important into your life. It's how you stay consistent with yourself. When you wake up in the morning, even though everything could have went to all hell yesterday, you're still grateful that God gave you another chance to correct whatever it was. You leave yesterday and yesterday and stay focused on today. It's all about now. You know, the past was our teacher you know and it's like the future is going to be our inspiration what you doing right now because the past and the future is you know is no longer existing you know the past don't exist anymore but you learn from that you grew from it you had to explore those different things you had to experience those certain things and when you in the now and you're seeing how different ways you can do it because it's so 
quick for us to stay into that vibration about what has been done to us what is getting on our nerves what we getting pissed off about what we tired of dealing with what we who we tired of dealing with what environment we pass ready to go from you can use that it's like man you know what look i know i can be better than this i know i could be doing better than this i'm gonna use this to make me stay consistent with myself i don't care about what's going on around me you know that's gonna be my fuel to stay consistent i don't care what people are trying to do to you know sabotage me i'm gonna use that as me still keep on being determined to do whatever i gotta do enemy don't have to say so about how your life is going to be god got that say so let them do whatever they think they're going to do you protect it regardless anything that come into contact with you is teaching you growing you you know excelling you you know they always tell you every obstacle is going to be for your highest good and it comes to that point where you got to start believing that because a lot of times we fall and we get angry at God because of so many different things that he's allowing to take place. But we have to understand he's placing love in those painful experiences. He's placing strength in your weakest moments. You know, stillness in all that chaotic chaos. And then get me to that point, you can't be moved. You can't be touched. You be all up out here. You know, where enemies can see you all the time. But it's like there's a, a place of gas. You're like, wait a minute. Boom. Can't go nowhere. <laughs> can't do anything can't touch you you know and these are the things to show you you are more powerful than you give yourself credit for it you gonna see the things that are relevant you gonna see the things that are irrelevant you gonna see the importance of stuff that things are a non factor you know and all those things but it's gonna be that counterweight that's gonna help you improve you it's gonna remind you what you've forgotten because everything that keeps coming on is keep on telling you show up for yourself show up for yourself until you get very acquainted to that person that you ain't never thought you could be these are those things that's showing you you're growing in so many different ways. Even when you feel like you're in stuck in a standstill. You just don't know because things be feeling like it's moving like molasses. But in that realm, that mess is moving in milliseconds. You just don't know. Because anytime you made a decision to do something that's best for you, things that you're going to cut off that is not nurturing you, things you ain't allowing to entertain that's going to keep you stuck in that low vibration, things you ain't entertaining with the enemy trying to do to destroy you, you're making very powerful moves about yourself. And these are the things that's helping you. You know, these are the things that are really, you know, motivating you to do better. You know? And these are the things is, is, is really, you know, really showing you the things that's going on around you is going to be that thing that's going to strengthen you, you know. And these are those times is show, you know, show you, you know, show your, your appreciation to the change that you have gone through. Show the appreciation to the challenges you felt like you couldn't face or you couldn't overcome. Because these are the things that, you know, that's really going to empower you in ways you never seen possible. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you as well. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe at every single thing that you do. And um, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. As well as uh, my link to my podcast as well. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, just for, you know, you just share with me. Tell me what was or whatever is going on. And, you know, a lot of people like Rosalind went through this, that, and the third. And I really don't understand why I've been through it. You know, and it's just a blessing when we can always help connect with other people. Because there's sometimes, you know, we can deal with somebody else and you can see perfectly what's going on. And just being able to share that with somebody and they can be able to share it with you. <laughs> so, you know, being able to do that um, and just be able to give a deeper, you know, a deeper understanding. Uh, of the perspective of your purpose is truly appreciated. So I hope you were able to resonate with that. If you ever feel generous to drop a, drop a donation, you know, Cash App is there as well. And, you know, please, whatever you're doing, please be safe and responsible with everything you do. And it's the weekend. I'm like, yeah, weekend, baby. It, it seemed like the week went too fast for me. But, um, what what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. You know, anything that you're trying to manifest into your life, I'm seeing so many, you know, uh, uplifting Prosper, uh, prosperity vibrations as well as abundant vibrations you know for those doors to keep flowing for you because it's like you've been going for it going for it and you really just don't see the corner of your milestone to you know for celebration trust and belief just keep being consistent persistent you know you the enemy might convince you to quit today because you win in tomorrow so don't sleep on yourself like that don't live in a world of regret you know because it's like that that's meant for you if there's sometimes you can't even go out hour or a day without thinking about that so i hope you have a blessed weekend peace much love